So a little bit about posture before we get onto the, the fun dancey stuff. Okay, my feet are directly underneath me, underneath my hips, hip distance apart. This is not hip distance apart, this is hip distance apart. Okay, the point where your legs meet your body. All right, rocking your weight gently forward and back. And side to side, easy, easy. Maybe even doing a little rounded maneuver around. Just finding your personal neutral position where your whole foot is on the floor, you're not leaning forward. You're not leaning back or your feet are not rolling side to side, that kind of thing. All right, so feet directly underneath you, knees are bent. And then just turning sideways to show you, I want to think about zipping up a pair of pants. Okay, engaging at the low belly, just releasing the tailbone down, making a little bit of space for all the delicious hip work that we're going to do just now. And then that is going to make it easy and safe for us to dance, keeping this engaged. All right, that gentle, the natural curve in my back is still there, all right, but I'm supporting my back with my belly, yes? Lifting up out of the ribcage, all right? So you want to think about the floor, my feet, my legs, that is not my center of gravity anymore. My center of gravity is here. So this is where I am supporting myself from. This maybe sounds a bit strange right now, but as we get a little bit more into our dance practice, it might become a little bit more evident. So I want to think about holding myself, not, well, you can physically hold yourself just to give, get a feel of it, but I'm going to hold myself from here. I, I personally need to, Focus my attention on this because I've got a habit of like sinking down. I'm very heavy on my feet. So I have to focus on holding myself here. So then that also just creates a little bit of space for my hips to move. Yes. Okay. Shoulders roll back and down. We want to make keep our shoulders away from my ears, make space. So if you're wearing big earrings, and then imagine that you've got a string attached to your head, like you're dangling a little bit like a puppet, okay, a little bit dangling, but pulling you tall, holding yourself here, knees are still bent, tall, and it's okay to take up space, all right, we've been told, probably, what, I have, not directly, necessarily, but just keep quiet, sit down, calm down, like stop being so big, like, Calm down, that very like down, depressed energy that you've got to be smaller than what you are, like it's not safe for you to be tall and expressive and open up your arms, right? That was a little bit of an aside there, but knees, feet, all corners, all four corners, corners, all corners, that's a real word, all four corners, knees are bent. Lifting up your jeans, standing tall, carrying a center of gravity here, uh, shoulders back and down, arms in a comfortable position. I like to keep them here, generally in a classic. So thinking about um, sending energy down the whole arm, even into the fingers, yeah, so that we don't land up doing this. Okay, I still want to be, even though I'm working with my hips, I still want to be thinking about my arms, because this is not that pretty. This can be, yes. Alrighty, so I think that's all I have to say about posture.